So we'll pop up 61 to 64, $20,000. Mobs are max HP, nice. And the only one extra rule on top of these rules is you cannot use the Apocalypse glitch, so you can't go back to the game and then jump back in. We got a black border. Alrighty. So how hard can this possibly be? We got no cash, but you got all the towers basically, except for Super and, and Wizard. Well first, I like Reactor because I'm not sure if any round has camo. So just to make sure, camo. So if it's max HP, then I feel like it's either Bolt Pull for a strike, one of those. We have no ace for round zero, so rip that. I would say, yeah, Monkey Pirate. Two of them? Let me just see what's on these rounds. That's probably important to know, so mobs? Wow. They're slow. You reckon first strike might do better than uh, these guys? But yeah, if we do use first strike, it's a max HP mob, so if we're talking like X20, um, each first strike is gonna pop like three at a time, which isn't really much better than boats. So I don't know. Could I have afforded three boats? There's a chance. There's literally no balloons aside from uh, the mobs here. What? BFBs now? Should I restart with concoction? I wanna say yes. Because at this rate, we're not gonna kill 64 until, like, it's around 100. In case you didn't know Apocalypse, the round doesn't update until you beat every balloon on set round. So, like, round 100's balloons could be coming out, but if you didn't beat the last balloon on round 60, it's still gonna say 60 and death. So, one concoction here. One concoction here. So, concoction is actually really good when you have max HP, because each explosion does, uh, percent damage. You see here, the mobs are slightly damaged. Although the thing is without a reactor, this cooldown is 15% slower. Great. There's really only two options to go about this challenge. It's either pirate or, yeah, for strike. But you see there, it's working a little bit. Although I believe the... Oh, camos, camos, camos. Let's get crow's nest. We're dead, right? I think so. That's what I was worried about. Uh, new idea. So you notice that... The boats only pulled in mobs from the left side, so how about only one concoction here? Ignore the right side, we don't need to care about that. And play. But yeah, the thing is, if concoction goes off, we're gonna have like 10 billion ceramics to deal with. And therefore not gonna work, right? We kinda need the one-shots. And that's gonna kill us. So natural spawns, guys, on top of all the balloons. Friggin' ceram clump. Two of them, both sides. Let's try first strike. So first strike, come on, do a lot of damage, please. Uh, I don't think it did much damage. I actually don't know where it landed. Either way, I'm just gonna die there. Like, I, I don't think that's gonna work. It's gotta be the boat then. So you reckon that a recursive would beat the ceram clump? I think so. We'll get it here, and this time only one boat. But let's see where the ceram clump is. Where you at? Uh, there it is. And recursive. Does it beat it? There's so many balloons there. No, I don't think so. <laughs> nope. Yeah, so before we deal with the Moabs, we gotta, like, let's find a defense for the balloons. Two Maelstroms. You reckon? Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. I'm down. So right here, I mean. One, two, three, four. Stop there. And then with my money, uh, ricochet. Easy way to beat a lot of balloons. Infinite balloons, in fact. Should be coming now, okay. Yeah, now, 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 now. Come on, Maelstrom, yes. Easy. So, at this point, what's the plan? So, we do see the BFB there. Use it. Oh, DD, what? DDT? No way. Don't tell me that there's more DDTs. That means, actually, it's round 80, guys. It's already past round 80. Uh, Serams? Oh, there's Super Serams. Oh, shit. GG. We're not even close there. If we just keep waiting, we're, we're gonna be around 100, as I said. I think the boat I'm using right now for initial damage. Initial D. But you reckon 204 subs might be more efficient? You know what, let's try no boat. Because we need to actually start the chain reaction quickly. And then get it so that when it pops the Serams, we have the Maelstrom. And hopefully before then, it's not around 80, so they're not Super Serams. Because if this game goes past 80, our Maelstrom is useless. And let's see. I want to know if it shoots left side or right side. Okay, left side, right side. So this side will be concoction. It's kind of random-ish, if you noticed. Because like on first, it's like alternating left and right. But I kind of want it to only shoot left side. 
So yeah, current status, not bad, not bad. Like, this mob here is almost dead. So hopefully we can, like, pop it soon. Can I add more damage somehow? Grape shot, yeah. Close. And then Maelstrom now, we have to. Just waiting for that mob to die. Waiting for it to die. Oh. Use it now. Explosion please, aw, oh, nope. We waited too long. How do I make it target the left side? It's always a 50-50. Oh, I know, I know. Alright, I have a genius idea. In genius, there's no way it could fail. No way. So, we're gonna start with these towers. So, here's the issue right now. When it's on first, it's always gonna target... Um, it's gonna alternate between left and right side. So, if I do this, it will not target the mobs here. Alright? Sell it. Oh, it exploded, exploded. Uh, Maelstrom? That's new. That's new, guys. Progress. I like it. So the issue is, if it explodes when it's on cooldown, uh, we're kinda dead, aren't we? We could use two Maelstroms, but I can't afford that. So let's see if it explodes again. Anything? Anything? A lot? Uh, Maelstrom time? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Okay. Holy shit, guys, we're, we're doing something. I need 22.95, and now, uh, it's on the wrong side. Uh, we need Concoction here. There's the giant wave ability! Oh jeez, was that in time? Don't die. Ah, we're dead. That's why I needed two Maelstroms. I feel like we're actually almost there. Alright, how about no more press? Let's go for pure damage. Pure raw DPS. And we'll actually do two subs. So, basically, we're gonna sell the Alchemists uh, halfway in. But for now, we're gonna split. Left, right, left, right. Seems to maybe be the best choice. You never know until we try. Can I sell? Okay, I'm gonna sell it. Triple guns. Can I sell this too? Yeah, I'll sell it. Two or two zero fours. Um, the only issue is I can't afford Maelstrom. So what the heck? So after this, uh, these leads, let's sell it. Maelstrom. Now, unfortunately, I can't afford another Maelstrom. Still, it's gotta be these guys. Oh, there's an explosion. Just one. Tiny. Super tiny. Not the only thing that's tiny uh, right now. So, Ceram's gotta use it. Still not popped. Oh, now popped. Could you have chosen a worse time to pop? No, you couldn't. You know what I'm getting at there, right? If we can pop all the mobs that are purpled, there's a chance. So, it should be soon we should use the ability. And yeah, let's try changing this guy to close. Oh, wait, well, it's really early. Whoa, 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 whoa. Maelstrom? Oh! Wait, what? <laughs> That's the end? I thought there was more, but apparently if you beat the ceramics, it's... it's over? Well then, <laughs> that took a long time to figure out. Uh, there's the actual ceramic clump, and that's gonna kill us. Yeah. That was, that was kinda random, let me just say that. But yeah, we did it. I don't even know how. Undynamic Duo, number two. I'm pretty sure I did number one before, I forget which towers it was though. Might have been Boomer and uh, Alchemist. Either way, slower balloons. So B to BFB. We'll do. It was Gloom Sniper. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that challenge. The one with the sniper uh, behind the rock. So this is part two, 10,000 years later. Well, I would say shove. Can I sell? No. Shove for the blimps, and then for the balloons, never miss. You guys know about never miss? It's pretty good, but I can't buy it. So let's restart. So basically this, 103, and 003, and it comes on left side, right? Left side? Yep. Not sure this beats the Moabs, Ah, uh, No. Shove does not work, guys, not good enough. It can't shove for it once, there's no way. We need damage. It could be shove, but then we can't go for never miss. We would need fire to play in. And I will try that, so let's go again. Fighter plane? ODS? Nope, no ODS, that sucks. Because if I go, if I do all these towers, then we have almost no Ceram DPS, or Balloon DPS. Either way, we'll try. Let's try and circle, yeah. Or center path. Yeah. So that'll pop it a lot faster, obviously. But what about the insides? Think about the children, will ya? And still struggling, that's one out of four. Let's get four plays. Fighter plane slow as ever. Two left, come on. Alright, one left. We got it. Nice. 
So at this point, I'm gonna move it to closer here. Yeah, circle. Infinite. Yeah, infinite. And that's it, right? Come on, shoot faster, quad darts. I'm not sure we'll make it. You have to think pineapples over sharper darts might be the answer. Because that's about to end exit. Come on, snipe. Snipe. No, right? Oh, we have it. Nice. The out of out of map snipe. I thought we were 100% dead there, but there you go. That was a quick and easy one. Not bad. Not bad.